Thank you. We have 183,000 people. We tend to know a lot of people on the yeah, island. People, I can imagine. Everyone so we blow our horn, we flash our lights while we drive and just say hi and hello. Yeah. My God, I'm so excited. That's a long way of coming in. This is where relaxation takes place right here. Relaxation and rejuvenation. Yes. Welcome to the Stone Tree Resort. We do This is so 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 beautiful. Petit piton. Oh babe, they're so pretty. Can you see in this? Maybe we should go bird watching after all. Good morning guys and welcome to St. Lucia. We are in St. Lucia, we are in the west coast staying at Stonefield Resort, a town called Sufri. And it's called Sufri according to our taxi driver because there is sulfur in the air because of the volcano. I think it's the only island that has a drive-in volcano. I think that's what he said. I could be wrong, but we are in Stonefield Resort and we are here to escape, relax and rejuvenate. Oh my God, it's so, so nice. We are staying in the, one of the most beautiful rooms ever. We can see Petit Piton to our left. We can see the sea right in front of us. We have a gorgeous little pool and the most beautiful balcony with a hammock. It's just very, 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 very nice. The time is currently about seven o'clock. So we landed yesterday about 3 p.m. and then got to the hotel for about, I think five. It's only about 45 minute drive, but you know, you have to get your bags, you have to do this, do that, do that, and all that. This is so nice. There's so many birds that come and chill right next to you, right by the balcony. I guess that's the best thing about having all this greenery here. Anyway, it is our first full day here. And this morning, what we've been doing is just trying to decide on what schedules to do. We have come to Safri in December 2020, where we are currently in a pandemic. So it's going to be very, very different. There's Quite a lot of restrictions as to how you move as a tourist when you are visiting St. Lucia and obviously we want to respect that because we don't want to bring no COVID. just off to breakfast breakfast is at the most beautiful restaurant it's called the mango tree restaurant and it's one of the best restaurants on the island i hear so blessed to be here there's a pool to go with it of course and the, the view the view is just insane the view is insane look at this it's so so nice so much greenery around so much water around pretty real 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 pretty i love it so much this is where we're having our breakfast Bull's gonna get get us a table to sit. The mango tree and the pool. This pool looks very, 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 very deep, very deep. But I'm I'm gonna get my way in it. 
obviously. We had dinner up there last night in that corner there. Really nice overlooking into the sea, overlooking Petit, Petit Piton. I can't I need to get the name right, Petit Piton. So. Babe, try, can you try this so that I can try it? Please. I hope you heard your <laughs> I mean it. I know. It's very nice. And it's not, Papa, it needs to be orange as well, babe. Very beautiful. The whole ground is very, very nice. And then, of course, to the left here, Petit Piton. There's nothing petite about it. <laughs> In fact, it's quite gross, it's quite big. So, we are now on our way to our first activity. Organised by Stonefield, we are going snorkelling. Come on, you already know. Swim is black owned as usual. This is L and Rust, Nigerian owned. I'll show you lots of black owned things in this vlog coming up. They do your temperature reading. Thank you. Know you, guys Thank you. Pretty oh, much. Room. Jack Jacaranda. And us being here, in less than 24 hours, our temperatures have been checked four times already. So we are as COVID free as pre-covid world um but it's really good i like the fact that they keep checking your temperature because well i guess you gotta be safe it's a small island and we're trying to keep everybody in the island safe Take off the mask? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. So, right over here, this is our hometown, Supra. Yeah, Supra, you're from it? Supra means sulfur in the air, yeah. sulfur in the atmosphere. The reason the why? Because of the volcano smells. Where's the, where's the volcano? That's right over there. That one over there. Yeah. 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 Ah, you can go in the mud box for the, on, the bo on the volcano. Gotta do that. That's, that's where you get 10 years young on the island. That's, yeah. that's what I keep hearing. <laughs> so much fun i got lit y'all can't see my eyes <laughs> i got super lit on the rum punch i can't lie then we stopped by some local place to pick up some food i can't even show you my fish <laughs> so we got fish and chicken it smells delicious oh. oh. this is fish and chips not the english kind some kind of sauce and then in here we got chicken and chips. Chicken and chips and salad. I wish we have also ordered some rum punch. 
which is gonna come at 6.30. We ordered it with a driver, so he's gonna go and get it for us because we can't really move much. The freedom of movement is very, very, very tight because hotels don't wanna be closed down, so you have to make sure that you're actually following COVID restrictions. How's the food? I'll give you some salt. That's from McDonald's. It was in my puff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a salt addict. How <laughs> <laughs> can you kick me into the water? <laughs> evening it's six minutes to eight what happened was marcus marcus is the guy who drove us from the hotel to go snorkeling so when we came for snorkeling we told marcus listen we're gonna need some punch so marcus fixed us up with some local punch and it tastes so good it's so nice but it's a bit spicy personally i feel like i can't decide whether it's got too much cinnamon or whether it's got too much alcohol whichever it's one cinnamon, it's all, all spice is it meant to be spicy? Is it meant to be hot? Is it meant to be alcohol? The plan for the evening is to go to the reception to go and pick up some games. We're gonna pick up Monopoly and we're gonna pick up one that starts with a T. Treble, Treble, Trebi. The reception lady said it on the phone like three times. I was too embarrassed to say, oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? For the, th for the third time? I said, no, it's okay. We'll come pick up the T game. This is the phone that you use to call reception. It's like a little tiny. Trap. <laughs> Good morning guys, morning from St. Lucia, Stonefield, again, I've woken up. Ooh. This place is so, so beautiful. Guys, I fell asleep at 9pm yesterday, that, <laughs> that rum punch knocked me done. Woke up at 1am, so confused, and I felt so guilty. Have you ever guilt slept? Like, I literally was guilt sleeping. I woke up like, oh my god, how could I knock out and leave my mans alone? I felt really, really guilty, but this is insane. Look at this. This is where we were before I passed out. And also, guys, we have a kitchen. I don't know if I showed you, but we have a kitchen, and I want to make something for breakfast. When I say I want to make something for breakfast, I mean, I want to pour myself some rum punch for breakfast. <laughs> Oh, my set, by the way, this is Volvolox, black owned as usual. So, our day has changed a little bit. We've just woken up from a nap. This is why I look like this. Let's be going snorkeling with Marcus and Ifis. However, where is my face wash? Okay, let's try this. What is this? Mango and lemongrass soap infused with turmeric. Organic turmeric is grown at Stonefield Villa Resort. Oh! And infused in this handmade soap due to its extraordinary health and skin benefits. I'm sold. It deeply hydrates. I don't even need to know what it does. Deeply hydrates, revitalizes the skin, stimulates circulation, and improves the appearance of sun damage. Please enjoy it. Oh, I shall. My face feels clean. We're meant to go snorkeling. It's very, 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 very cloudy outside. It probably is not going to be a good idea. We came back from breakfast, had a nap, and then when I was before I had a nap, I was like, I don't think we're gonna go snorkeling today. This weather is not promising. And it turns out <laughs> weatherman Lydia was right. We can't go snorkeling today, we have to wait. Maybe until Wednesday. We're leaving on Wednesday, but the flight's at 8 p.m. So we're gonna enjoy the whole entire day. I'm going to go and order food for lunch. Wake up, nap, wake up, eat. That's the kind of day we wanna have today. Yesterday at breakfast, we met three girls. They are from Haiti. 
but they live in Florida and they're here in St. Lucia for one of their birthdays. We saw them and I waved at them and then when we came back, we could hear their music thumping and bumping and jumping. We were like, oh, we should go, we should go. But then we didn't go. So today at breakfast, we were like, hey, we heard you guys, we heard your music was thumping and bumping. We were gonna come over and they're like, yeah, come. So we have plans. Finally, from my lap, it is now 10.30 and look at my cute fit first of all, you think I'm about to go out to a club, we now, we're just going downstairs, literally we're going to the birthday girls, to their room, still no makeup, I think it's going to be one of those holidays where I don't wear much makeup at all, then my eyebrows, that's it. My outfit is so cute. Let me show you this. We're really brand and it is the most beautiful three-piece trousers set. Babe, what, do you like this one? Yeah. It's the arm for me. Shot for the road. You smell nice. Like you've sprayed yourself or something. I have. I, have, I do also fear that mosquitoes will now find me more appealing. So this evening, I really have no idea what to expect. All. We're taking this game with us. Sticky situations. Black owned again. So it's a drinking game by the way. So you have your drink ready and then somebody says what this is and then if you haven't done it or you have done it, whatever it is you do. So here. If you ever slept with another player in the game, <laughs> discreetly sip your drink. What? Why, why would that come up? I'm You're selling me too. If you are, me too. They said discreetly anyway. Take turns naming alcohol brands. First person to F up, drinks up. I'll go first. Bacardi. Jameson. Ciroc. Johnny Walker. Tequila. Smirnoff. Tequila's not a brand. Tequila. Tequila's not a brand. Patron. Patron. <laughs> <laughs> We can't seem to find our friends. <laughs> we don't know which. We don't know which room they're in. I'm sitting down. I'm trying to get trying to get these guys. Look, we had three liters of this, and there's really not much left at all. But you know, I'm gonna try some local rum punch. Today was a really nice day. I really enjoyed just chilling. Ooh. Yeah. Yay! I think you find the right villa. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. You look cute or whatever. All they have is champagne. There's some freaking light. Yeah, I like that. I like that. There's some, some shisha. Hey, how about some drinks? At the speed of the boat was going, it felt like bullets was hitting your skin. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah you remember yesterday when yeah, he was bouncing yeah, it? Yeah, they weren't like And that man said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to live. Have we tried this punch? Which one is it? It's just like, like one local punch that we got. Drinks, we have a drinking game as well. Have you guys played a drinking game before? Is that Domino? Oh. No, 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 it's called a Sticky Situation. Angry toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. We have made it to breakfast. I'm alive. I didn't think I would be. Morning. Hi. Before breakfast, to take your you temperature you so that. Wrong Thank you. I think so. <laughs> so someone came to our villa, but I didn't see who it was. Like, they, they, they just accidentally came to our villa, <laughs> but they sounded British. <laughs> <laughs> no, these were, these these guys were so drunk. They were like, we just don't know where we are. Yeah. <laughs> so we've just 
finished breakfast and we saw the girls from last night again. They were hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. We've got all their numbers, all their Instagrams. We're gonna keep in touch. I told them I'll see them in Turks because they're gonna be in Turks and Caicos in March. So I'm gonna be there too, we'll see. But um, we have like two minutes to get ready because we are off to do some activities. Swim is really grand, black owned, very cute. I love the color for it. And then this, is Vinstall, the scarf, it's so cute. I thought it matched really perfectly. You can use it as a head scarf, you can use it as a body scarf. I'm gonna hide my booty a little bit. And tie it on the side. It's got a cheeky bit of under boob here. The Diamond Botanical Gardens. <laughs> Energy is high. Energy is very high. It's raining a little bit, but it's okay. And we're gonna go inside and have a look, and then after that, go to the Sulphur Springs. That is the plan. I'm itching because I got bit. I've been bitten. I would like to welcome into the Diamond Botanical Garden. Did you eat a lot of it? Just take the whole thing. Get some yellow. <laughs> Get some white. Like Slap the whole thing in the mouth. Just chew it. It's like sour apple. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> mm. Mm. If I get peckish, you can grab some flowers. <laughs> gardens and it is so beautiful I'm looking at the most prettiest flowers some of them match my nails loads of trees plants it looks really nice that literally just my vibe you have to have your masks on because obviously COVID <laughs> but still having a really great time I've seen so many beautiful flowers and some berries that are poisonous so I'm like let me take some of those I know somebody who I can give some of those <laughs> and eggs because of the sulfur it legitimately smells like rotten eggs look at the volcano you guys look it's actually bubbling but it's about 100 celsius so you definitely don't want to get into that because you will burn well i'm not on anybody to die yeah but the last accident was with a guide by the name of gabriel yeah he went for in a group of seven german visitors and he went jumping on the surface mm -hmm. In doing that, the crust broke through, he went down, he burned up to the waist, second degree, spent about six weeks at the hospital. Oh my god. In doing that, this yeah. very first hole closest to us on the left, yeah. the big one bubbling, yeah. Yeah. this hole never existed until Gabriel went. Gabriel made this hole. Right. <laughs> so this is Gabriel's hole. Oh, is he okay? Did He's okay. Okay. God bless. He no him. longer works here as a guide. I don't blame him. <laughs> but he lives in the town of Super.
now at the South of Springs. It's so, so cool here. <laughs> it literally smells like rotten eggs and I've gone in, but they said that it's really got, it's got loads of good properties for your skin, for your hair and all that. I want to go in and then when you come out, you can have like a mud bath. They cover you in mud. I'm trying to do all that. You know, I'll be doing everything when I'm on holiday. So far it has been a makeup free holiday and I love it so, I love it so, so much. I've been able to enjoy myself in the most organic way, you know? And we're quite lucky. There's not that many people here right now. It was so busy earlier. When we first got here, there was a giant tour guide group and they just literally took up the whole spring. But now it's just me and my boo and like one other couple. It smells funny. It smells real funny. It smells like rotten eggs. Dead ass. Good morning guys, morning. So today is the day that we're gonna climb the Grand Piton. I'm very excited about this. Trainers on, sports gear on, and a backpack packed. Babe, are you sure you wanna wear a leather hat and not one of these? <laughs> Water and cheetos. This is where we checked in. This place is just one Big, big, gorgeous greenery. It's so pretty. Everywhere you look. Today we are off to the to climb the Grand Piton, which is a big one. Shout out to Stonefield for organizing this tour for us. It's so cool the way they can organize a whole bunch of tours for you. There's like a booklet in the hotel. You flick through horse riding, zip lining, climbing the, the pitons, the big one and the small one ton of stuff that you can do and then the hotel basically just organizes the whole thing for you and we are being picked up or being driven by one of these to go and climb one of those so shout out to Stonefield for organizing this for us today I am so excited it's an exercise day ready to be a real adventure babe <laughs> Absolutely the worst tourist ever. This place is called Gros Piton, not Grand. I don't even know where I got Grand from. Thank you. We're gonna go and climb all the way to the top of that. I don't even know how. This look, it looks straight. This looks like a straight up and down line. Let me. They said I can do it two hours up, two hours down. I'm gonna give it my best shot. I forgot my watch. I'm so annoyed. The one time. The one time. Yeah, calabash. calabash. Yeah. Ah, the green calabash. Shout out to the green calabash. Kenyan YouTubers. So guys, we highly recommend you hiking poles. They're gonna be very useful on the way up and especially when you're coming back down. You're gonna take the pressure off the knees and just have you feeling more in control of going down overall. And that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, so you measure it to your height? Yeah, that's the mountain goat there. He's already pretty famous. Oh. Yeah. So you, you, you get the right height. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Let's go. Let's have fun. We are about maybe a third way up <laughs> the Gros Piton. It is big and it is very steep. Very, very steep. If I show you where we've just come out of now, we're taking a break. This is our second break. It doesn't even look that wild on camera, but trying to climb this, it's dead, dead straight. And then look all the way up here. This is Mervin. Mervin, you're going to tell Mervin us about you. The, the mountain goat. Yeah, this is Mervin, the mountain goat there. Um, I did set the record. Uh, my record is 58 minutes wrong trip all the way to the top wrong trip believe it or not i took 48 minutes to the top jogging you know keep you jogging. walking fast <laughs> and then 20 minutes on the way down 20 minutes 20 minutes and on average it takes people how long on average uh, average yeah. it will take about four hours wrong yeah. trip that's crazy that's crazy that's really well done and that's why they call you marvin the mountain goat, marvin the mountain I, goat. I, I, I hope somebody 
could break that record one day. <laughs> I don't I, I don't mind, but now I got it. The very top of the Gros Piton. This is insane. Look behind me. Real adventure, babe, for real. I can't believe how steep this climb is. I'm so, so glad that we got to do this because the way it was raining last night, it rained the whole entire night. Like proper rainforest rain. I wasn't sure if we we're gonna be able to come and do this today because obviously I thought the ground was gonna be too wet to climb, but it is dry, it is solid, <laughs> it is steep. Look at this food. We are back from climbing the mountain and we are as hungry as someone who has climbed the mountain. So he's got two pieces of fish, two pieces of chicken and chips and coleslaw and a spare one for the both of us. We've got two pieces of chicken and chips and coleslaw and a spare one. Climbing a mountain gets you this hungry. I don't know, does it? <laughs> does it get you this hungry? Mm -hmm. We do understand that there is other food to eat in San Lucio, but this one just hits the spot. And this chili, this, is so spicy, it's so delicious, freshly fried. Mm -hmm. just had a shower feeling fresh and feeling good and the food was so delicious it was from dreams um the taxi driver who drove us to the piton actually just drove us back into town and then he stopped and he went and got our food and then passed it to us again in the truck like i keep saying covid restrictions means that we're not actually allowed to mix in with the locals in the town and we completely understand completely get it obviously but the food is buff the food is so so buff i'm feeling so good I have, well, apart from a rash, I have this horrible rash. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a rash on my hand here, and I got a rash in here, and I've got a rash on my side. I got rashes everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. One tip that I'm gonna give to anyone who wants to go and climb the pitons, make sure that, first of all, you have adequate footwear. This is black owned um, Ami London whipped shea butter. This smells so, so, so good. This is my second one. It's organic coconut oil, jojoba, almond oil, apricot oil. A tip that I would give to anyone who wants to go and climb the pitons is make sure that you have adequate footwear, right? So my babes definitely did not have that. He brought air forces and white trainers and that was it. And that wasn't gonna work. Air forces, if you own air forces, you know how stiff and square that shoe is. The only other option that he had was to use his water shoes. Let me show you the water shoes. These are the water shoes. Do you see how thin they are? Water shoes are mad, mad skinny. As you can see, he managed to put holes through both of them because it's not comfy. This is not adequate footwear to climb a mountain, but make sure that you come with good trainers. And then number two, my next tip is if you're going to climb any of the pitons, it's literally in dense foliage. Make sure that you spray yourself with bug spray. I feel like all of this rash has just got a lot worse. Since yeah. <laughs> all of this rash has just got a lot worse and Boo's just saying he got a yam up. He has got bitten all over the gaff. Like he got, <laughs> he got bit in the face, he got bit in the arms, he got bit in the leg. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is just chill. Chill by the pool. We got some local rum, Bounty Local Premium Gold Rum. It's made here in the island. This was delivered by the hotel staff. Guys, the hotel staff have been so, so, so kind to us. Like, I don't even understand why they're so nice. <laughs> This 
is me ready to go for a swim wearing black owned. Today's our last afternoon here and we were contacted by Sugar Boat Charters. They are a private speedboat company. And um, yeah, they're here based here in St. Lucia. And we actually found out about these guys via the girls. You know, the girls' birthday? They used Sugar Boat Charters and said it was a really good experience. So I followed them on IG and they were like, oh, hey, do you want to come and try our boat services? I was like, yes, please, <laughs> before we go. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going on a private speedboat tour. We're going to be going on a private beach from three until five and we're gonna go to visit some bath caves, browse the Marigot Bay and snorkel and go to a secluded beach. I'm so excited. Guys, we're leaving here at, we're gonna be there at three o'clock and we have to leave at five because our flight is at eight and we need to be at the airport at six. So we are cutting it as close as possible. But we need to experience all of St. Lucia. The dress is Too Faye. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's black owned. Again, very nice backless dress. All these black owned brands that I have, are fire the quality of the product is just amazing so we have come to the end of our stay here in stonefield resort villas and i just honestly had the best time ever i'm still very upset that we're leaving but i guess all good things come to an end but we shall be back to St. Lucia again soon hopefully to the same 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 place doing the same exact things if not more we had the best time ever thank you so much for staying for hosting us in this trip thank you for all the staff thank you for everybody who's looked after us the drivers excursion people like we had the very 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 best time and i'm honestly so heartbroken to believe in even if i do have a rash <laughs> i'm gonna miss the sun i'm gonna miss the people i'm gonna miss everything about st lucia so uh thank you so much you guys and uh, i'm gonna see you guys later whoa let's go boating this is the boat it's a nice boat yeah. it's a very nice boat we're great, thank you.